Hey everybody, Brian here, and I'm coming to you with your game. Uh, it's Balls and Cups, or Left, Right, Center. So how this is going to work is you're gonna see a little video on the screen and you have to guess. Is it gonna go in the left cup, the right cup, or the center cup? More answers you get right, the better you feel. Alrighty, let's play. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose center, you are correct. Let's do it again. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose left, you won. Let's do it again. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose right, you won. All right, last time. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose left, you won. Now we're gonna mix it up. For this round, if it's in the left, I want you to lay down. If it's in the center, I just want you to sit down. If it's on the right, you stay standing. Ready? Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose right, you won. Let's do it again. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose center, you are correct. All right, last time. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose left, you won. All righty, kids. For this round, if it's in the left, I want you to do jumping jacks. If it's in the center, I want you to do sit-ups. And if you think it's in the right, run around the room like a crazy person! Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose center, you are correct. Let's do it again.
Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose right, you won. All right, last time. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose left, you won. Alrighty, for this round, there's gonna be some hand motions. There's an old saying of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. So if it's in the left, I want you to see no evil. If it's in the center, I want you to hear no evil. If it's in the right, speak no evil. Ready? Have some fun. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose left, you won. Let's do it again. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose center, you are correct. All right, last time. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose right, you won. Alrighty, for this round, we're going to add some sound. And if you want, you know, some more hand motions, that's fine. So if it's in the left, I want you to quack like a duck. Quack, quack, quack. If it's in the center, bark like a dog. Woof. Or just say bark, either one, you know. Uh, or if it's in the right, moo like a cow. Ready? Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose right, you won. Let's do it again. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose center, you are correct. All right, last time. Now choose left, right, or center. If you chose right, you won. Hey everybody, I hope you had fun. I had fun too. Check out the welcome video and let's get started. Hey guys, and welcome to Youth Seminar. During this series, we are gonna be talking about ways to make our soul strong. Where is your soul? Is it right here? It's right here! Now, this is based on the new movie, Soul. But we wanted to talk about some things that happen in the movie, uh, in the movie Soul, that are a little different in real life. 
First, this is not he what heaven looks like. The Bible says that heaven is full of singing, dancing, and worship. There are golden streets and huge angels with six wings singing God's praises. It's incredible. Also, God controls where our souls go. In the movie, they pop in and out of people and cats, but that's not how it works. Today, we're gonna be talking about choices that will make our souls strong. This lesson includes the group game, key verse, worship, game, lesson, consequences journey. We're going to see how our choices affect our lives and other people. But first, it's time for our Kid Connect question. Here it is. Would you rather have everyone know something that's super embarrassing about you, or would you rather eat a pile of worms? Find someone around you and ask them the question. Stop when I say 
It's Ms. Zion, and as you know, we have been talking about our souls and what makes our souls strong. Have you ever talked to your best friend and they told you a super classified, nobody else can know secret, and you went and told someone else? I know I have. And maybe you didn't do it on purpose, but you still told someone. That's gossip. What is gossip? Gossip is sharing someone, something about someone else without them knowing. It's also like telling lies about someone. That's gossip. So, let's talk about what we've learned so far in the story of Jacob and Esau. They were born, right? They're twins. Esau is super hairy and a big old man, and Jacob's little, little dainty, soft like a smooth baby. <laughs> His name also means deceiver. And so when we learned about how Esau sells his birthright for a bowl of soup, and Jacob cheats him out of his birthright, because birthright, soup, not very equal, right? And then Jacob steals Esau's blessing. When Jacob went in to find his father and to steal Esau's blessing, this made Esau furious when he found out, like super mad. I don't know about you, but if I was Esau, I'd be pretty mad. 
Someone stole my blessing? No thank you. Let's fast forward a little bit in the story. Jacob was so scared when he heard his brother was coming to see him because he thought his brother was going to hurt him, right? But that's not true at all. Esau fell to the ground because he was so happy to see his brother. And that's what really happened. Esau just wanted to see his brother again, but Jacob was so scared. Esau wanted to give his brother a big hug. Can you give yourself a big hug? Aww. We, we want to say nice things about our friends, right? And we don't say mean things about our friends either, right? I didn't hear you. Yeah, there we go. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor and say something nice to them. Now look at your other neighbor. Now look at your teacher. Now look at yourself. God will help you, so let's ask him for help. You gotta cross your hands. We gotta cross our hands like this. And we gotta close our eyes so we can't see anything else. All right, ready? Dear Jesus, help us to not say mean things about our friends and help us to say nice things about our friends. We love you so much. In your name, amen. And our drive home for this week is praise makes my soul strong. So nice words make my soul strong, right? You say that with me? Praise makes my soul strong. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Welcome back, y'all. I'm Karachi, and this is game time. Nah, I didn't hear y'all. What time is it? Game time! And this game is called Cup of Joy. No, it's not Cup of Joy. It's Cup of Fun, all right? So you're gonna need stickers in this game. You're gonna need stickers and a lot of cups. Well, you can play it with 25, 30 cups. This is how to play it. You're gonna get your, get your cups and remove and put the stickers, because this it's, about, it's all about choices. You're gonna put your stickers around it in each cup, about 10 cups. And then you set your cups out in the different ways. And your teammate or the person that you're going against has five, ch five chances to choose the right cup. Okay, I'll see y'all later, bye.
Hi guys, we are here in week four of you seminar doing our memory verse. Let's say it all together, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to week three of you seminar. We're talking about stealing this week. Let's go through our memory verse and then talk a little bit about things that qualify for stealing and things that you might not think are, but do. Okay, our memory verse. Love others as you love yourself. Matthew 22:39b. Don't you think the world would be a better place if everybody loved others as they love themselves? So let's say it all together. Love others as you love yourself. Matthew 22:39b. All together. Love others as you love yourself. Matthew 22:39b. Now I'm going to be quiet coyote again, and I want you to say it as loud as you can, okay? One, two, three. Good job! I want you to yell that as loud as you can at least once a day, just to remind yourself. Now, today we've been talking about gossip, and everybody has gossiped about somebody at least once. Okay, gossip is things like saying harmful words, telling a story about somebody else. It's saying anything about somebody you wouldn't want them to hear. If you wouldn't want your best friend to hear what you just told your other friend, don't say it, that's gossiping. If you find yourself starting to say harmful words about somebody else, pause and start to think of something good to say. Praise them for something good that they've done or something that they've been a part of that was awesome. Start to replace gossip with words of praise. Let's say our memory verse together one last time, big, loud. I want to hear you. One, two, three. Love others as you love yourself. Matthew 22, 39, B. B. And when you love others as you love yourself, it makes your soul strong. See you guys.
Welcome to the final week of the Consequences journey. My name is Ronan. I have a story that has a few choices. Those choices have consequences. A consequence is something that follows a choice. If I choose to exercise, I get stronger. If I choose to walk blindfolded across the street, I could get hurt. Today, we have a story that will help you choose whether or not to gossip. Gossip is when we share something about someone without them knowing it. Here's the story. You are with your friend in the pool. Your friend jumps in the pool and gets air stuck in his swimsuit. Looks like he passes gas. You think it's funny and the two of you start doing it over and over again in the pool. His name is Jess and you start calling him Gas with two S's. He thinks it's funny. You go to school the next day and you begin to tell that story to other people. You mention that you call him Gas. You think this is fine until some really mean peoples hear the story and start sharing it. Now he's being called Gas everywhere and he's really embarrassed. Do you tell your friend that you're the one who started the gossip or do you tell a teacher or a parent that some people are gossiping about your friend? Or do you talk to the gossipers? No matter what happened throughout the journey, Jess is embarrassed because he shared a story about him without knowing about it. Gossip is different than the rest of the choices we've talked about. With gossip, everyone will know eventually, and your friends will be hurt along the way. Choose to share stories that will build people up, and word will spread. Choose to share stories that will tear people down, and word will spread as well. What you choose will decide what kind of friends you will keep when all the choices are made. Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Jan again. So glad to be back here with you. Hey, I'm wondering, are you guys enjoying this series of Jacob and Esau as much as I've been? I am really learning a lot. You know, sometimes even though as old as I am, I know the story, but you still always kind of learn some new things from it. One of the things is I think you guys are hopefully learning is how not to treat your brothers and sisters. So. We've talked about cheating and lying and stealing, so today we're gonna to talk about gossiping. And some of you might not know what that is, but it's when we talk about other people and most of the time it's not very nice things that we say. So this week, I'm gonna give you a challenge. We're gonna see, and I'm gonna take the challenge too. So we're gonna see how well we are at saying good things about people and not use not nice things or bad words about people. So, in order to keep track of how well we do this challenge, I'd like for you guys to get some cups, jars, whatever you have at home that you wanna use, and we're gonna decorate them. If you're doing it here in church, we'll have all the supplies for you. So, what we're gonna do is we're taking one cup and we're putting happy face stickers all over them. And for those of you at home, we will have a template that has happy faces and some not so happy faces so that you can cut them out and stick them on your own cup. So, you know, all of our happy faces are going to be on here. We've got so many stickers, you guys just won't know what to do with them all. Your whole cup will be covered with happy face stickers. And each time that you remember to say something nice about somebody, in class, we're gonna give you these little blue chips. Kind of hard to see. And every time that you say something nice about somebody else, instead of something mean, you're gonna put in one of your little discs. So I'm hoping that this week, that you can all remember to say your good words and say less of our bad words about our family and friends.
All right, guys, our drive home for today is praise makes my soul strong. Say it with me. Praise makes my soul strong. Say it loud. Praise makes my soul strong. Say it like you're whispering to your friend next to you. Praise makes my soul strong. Say it like you're a dolphin. Praise makes my soul strong. <laughs> Say it like a, a robot. Praise makes my soul strong. Say it like you're playing the game telephone. One person starts and go around your group in 15 seconds. Ready, go. We have the option to use our words to build up or tear down. So let's use our words to build up. Say it with me. Praise makes my soul strong. Bye!